Today I'm joined by Sikkum's CEO Ann Giedner to discuss the company's recent Q1 report and its highlights. Uh, Ann, hello. Hello, Jonathan. Good to see you. Let's start with the mRNA achievements. It's been a very busy quarter for you. Um, and in the report, you highlight significant mRNA milestones beyond your expectations. What are these milestones and, and in what way did they exceed expectations? Indeed, it's it's quite amazing with that we we have been able to produce very clear data, also very strong, good data uh, in, in a very short time. The first portion is our partner study, the Biotech Corporation, which is our first, this is our first study ever for mRNA uh, with, with an industry partner. Uh, and we had very good readouts on technical parameters and then excellent readouts on the key uh, activity of mRNA. Uh, and this was already beyond our expectation, I would say, to have such clear, clear readouts in the very first collaboration. Secondly, uh, we have been pursuing animal studies on our own behalf. Uh, we managed to get to the stage of mouse trials during January and completing them. And here again, uh, because it's not obvious even to get a, a proper animal model set up the first time you test a completely new entity. But we here were able to get clear data and again, very strong data, complete preservation of the mRNA activity. Uh, so this is well beyond uh, expectations. And, and it's a very nice proof now of the technology because this is a key step for any pharmaceutical project, for any pharmaceutical company. Uh, and we see now we don't have to prove the effect any longer. We have a fantastic remaining and preserved activity. Uh, now we can move on to investigating other parameters uh, it, when, when we could, could move on to animal trials in the next stage. And then we have a third readout during the month, uh, which is the inhalation project, where we have an academic collaboration uh, working at high pace to, to engineer inhalable mRNA in LMP. Uh, there's no such product existing today. Uh, we have uh, midway readouts on technical parameters and we have achieved all the wishes we had, all the hopes we had for laminate pace to be um, the right treatment and very applicable to obtain dry powder material for inhalation. Uh, all these expectations were met. Uh, on technical parameters. Uh, so we are very, very happy about this. And, and turning to technology development, um, uh, during the court, you reported progress in your industrial scale-out projects. And, and after that, uh, three new patents following the, that report. Can you elaborate on on this, in this industrial scale-out to start with? Indeed. Um, as, as we have been reporting, we have a very ambitious project to take our technology all the way to market. Uh, it includes optimization of the technology, the scale out, uh, and then uh, to have a fully implementable rig that you can just plug into an existing facility. In parallel, we are running digital 3D modeling uh, because it's a much quicker way to produce data and, and reach conclusions. And we have reached the very nice stage that the model is now close to completion. Uh, so we Sikkim can now start generate data, not just from physical trials, but also from digital trials. So that's a great milestone in the project. Uh, we have uh, great achievements together with a number of partners, and we have added a new partner for the equipment. Uh, we have been assessing several partners, and we have found a top-notch international high-precision equipment producer, and they are also experts in prototyping. Uh, so we look forward to a lot of, of close collaboration there. Uh, this is the third element of, of patent protection. And this is uh, a very, very important milestone for Zikum because we have generated a lot of nice and good mRNA data. We have also developed the equipment for years now. Uh, last year, we went in with applications for the first stage to secure our position for laminate pace. Uh, during one year since then, we have been generating excellent data. And now we are filling, so to say, each shell of a patent application with a very large amount of data. And this is also beyond 
uh, our planning that we could generate so much strong data and this is supporting both uh, equipment patent uh, we we have years of development now uh, being covered in our new application uh, process parameters where we are bringing the knowledge from the internal development and from the 3d modeling to cover the best way of processing with the laminate paste and then thirdly it's also formulation it's a formulation pattern and that's where we now enter all these strong and clear readouts uh, mainly for mrna but also covering other formulations and regarding partnered projects uh, and business development in q1 what, what state is this matter here yeah we have uh, we we really want to focus we have so much interest now in the industry and we have this really um, proof delivered now with with our data sets so we have a lot of interest and we need to spend more resources on the bd uh, we are taking our partner partner projects forward uh, and i want to give an update there uh, first we have the biotech uh, collaboration on mrna with an mrna leading biotech cooperation uh, the readouts were very quick and and perfectly positive uh, the assessment now is slower to see how and where to apply it uh, and we are patiently waiting to see that come along uh, the second project is with our big pharma partner uh, the, the vaccine uh, player in in the big pharma league uh, there we have completed uh, the project work more or less uh, we are now assessing it jointly then we have a third project with our cdmo partner contract manufacturing corporation and there we have a pause now uh, they have during the quarter uh, during the quarter communicated they have a pause the reason being they are looking for which project to apply it in because this is not a pharma company it's a contract manufacturing company so they're looking where to apply it could you give me a comment on on the organizational changes as well because you announced on april 3rd that you were streamlining your business and finance functions and and you pointed two new positions how, how will this play out thank you yes um like mentioned we really need to work on on bd we need to capture all the interest we have generated now uh, and I'm really happy we have secured two candidates, two really um, high caliber international talents. Uh, so quite young in age, very talented. It's one finance manager who has a background uh, in financial uh, financials and he's uh, he's been training on, on Wall Street. He's then been a fin financial analyst in London. His name is Christo Vasilev. Uh, we will pre present him a bit further uh, shortly. The second candidate is to take care of business and also project management, since we have uh, so many dialogues and we are planning for a number of projects ahead. Uh, this is a very good pharmaceutical, um, high caliber individual coming from a pharma company, uh, also with an international track record and joining us from Gothenburg. Uh, her name is Ilkim Afkama, uh, and she will also be presented shortly. She's, she's joining next week, uh, and we are very happy for this. And looking ahead, what, what can we expect now going into the next quarter and the next half year? Um, we are, as ever, uh, looking forward to further readouts in the existing projects. Uh, we are looking to take the dialogues with new players ahead. We have... We have communicated a few of the new dialogues we have in our portfolio overview. Uh, they, they are very interesting companies. It's, it's, it's biotech companies mainly. Uh, we're looking forward to, to take them to projects, hopefully, of course. Uh, we are moving on with the academic collaboration. Uh, very, very eager to see our good uh, midway readouts being confirmed in further studies there. Uh, obviously, we are also moving along with the equipment development and finalizing, fine-tuning uh, the capacity, the effect, uh, also ensuring GMP with our new equipment partner. This is very important for any pharma uh, operation, obviously. And thank you very much for taking the time today uh, and good luck with your uh, future studies and projects. Thank you so much.